I wake up every day, there's a wheelchair beside me, so I know what happened. And it's like, I can do nothing with that, or I can do something with it. It was after a night of partying when it happened, June 25th, 2000, near Langley. Kevin Brooks decided to drink and drive. In the passenger seat beside him, his best friend, Brendan. It's a mellow corner. I always ripped around fast on this night and didn't make the corner. The car kept going straight, struck a little road body, launched in the air, over the body, over another little road, hit the ground rolling front over back style. And how many times it rolled till it finally stopped upside down? In a matter of seconds, it was over. A car crash and lives altered. Car was destroyed. Both people inside very seriously hurt. Brendan hit his head like super hard. Brendan was dead and Kevin in the hospital. He was left paralyzed from the waist down and dealing with life-threatening injuries, all because of one bad decision. He had to learn to breathe again, eat again, move again, and deal with the fact that his friend was dead. He also had to face Brendan's family. Brendan's parents were always just, they saw through the stupid choices and knew that, you know, deep down he was a good person and they were always cool that way. They forgave him and supported him through his recovery despite losing their son. You see, Kevin, we're not here to get you or, or hate me or blame me. The way they chose to look at what happens when you both made that choice to hop in my car that night and not pull or force Brendan in the car. He made that choice on his own and he did know better. A couple of years later, Kevin decided to take what life had given him, tell his story, tell Brendan's story, and help students around the province understand the consequences of drinking and driving. I really think if I wasn't doing this, I might be in a worse place than where I am. As Kevin tells his story, the students are quiet and enthralled, taking in every word. It, it really impacted me to not, like, not get in a car with someone who drank and just go and drive. Yeah. Just not a smart idea. It was really inspirational, like everything that he's been through, and it can definitely help me impact my decisions in the future about mm -hmm. everything and stuff. Kevin says he gets letters every day from students who've seen his talks, but they talk about much more than just his story. It's about depression, suicide, and bullying. And it blows my mind sometimes because everyone who writes me, they'll share the most painful thing, like stuff I can't even fathom or imagine. Kevin says he feels a connection with these students, and that's why he'll be attending the Teen Expo, a one-day event and the first of its kind in Canada at Perks Arena. Really help the youth connect with their peers and with the businesses that cater to them and that support them, um, be it resources, uh, businesses. We actually have uh, free workshops running all day for attendees, so we've got everything from health and wellness to fun hair workshops. There will be local singers, 75 booths, a live DJ and more. And speakers like Kevin will be there to inspire and leave a lasting impact. Because I've done more sitting down in this chair than I ever did sitting up for people. In Victoria, I'm Shetta Singh.